You know, we all need some words of encouragement every now and then. So how about every day, even multiple times a day? Uh, Clay School District, seventh grader, has made it his mission to spread kindness by putting words of affirmation where students pass by every day. News Channel 3's Lisa Feinstein tells us the student has named it the kindness tree. I am brave, the best is yet to come, um, some positive affirmations such as I am beautiful, I am smart. These are the types of messages 7th grader Landon Puckett wants his friends to hear when they come to school every day. Check on a friend who is sad, bring your teacher coffee. Puckett and his teacher, Angel Harris, put this kindness tree up on the main floor of their school, full of nice messages and reminders. Landon came to me and he had seen a design similar to this on Pinterest, I believe, and he wanted to do something like that in the school. So we got together and worked it all out. I wanted to put it in the school um, because this is where kids spend most of their time. They spend eight hours here Monday through Friday. And so if we can add this stuff into the school, it can be an influence on kids from as young as um, preschool to um, 12th grade. Puckett wants to make school an even more positive environment. With the help and support of his administrators, he has a goal of putting an end to bullying. I've noticed over the past several years, possibly possibly due to COVID, um, that it seems like we don't know how to speak to each other anymore with kindness. We've noticed that there's definitely been um, less social interaction inside of our schools um, all, all around the, um, the world, actually. We need to practice that. Just practice being kind to each other, doing nice things, saying nice things, lifting each other up. By implementing this into our school districts, we can encourage kids not only to be kind, but to have social interaction with one another. Puckett and Harris have already seen a difference in the halls. The kids come right through this hallway out to the buses every day. And so when I'm standing out here, I hear their comments. Uh, it's all, everything's been positive. Several teachers have commented. At least you know, you know you're trying and um, you're trying to be the change. And you see um, other kids also trying to be a change inside of the school district. So um, if we could all come together as a community inside the Clay Local School District, then we can all be a change. Lisa Feinstein, WSAZ News Channel 3, Scioto County. Landon, who is uh, very mature for his, very mature for any age, really, <laughs> and his teacher have been working on a website with anti-bullying resources for students and parents and teachers. They hope to get that site up and running pretty soon.